Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we're here in Growing Zone 6B in New England. Today is the last day without rain for a few days um, this week. And what I want to do is capitalize on that by harvesting my garlic. You wanna wait for a dry spell before you harvest it. I've been comparing this stuff in the kitchen. I've got three different bulbs from three different weeks and they did not get any bigger between the last week and the week before. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna go in. If we get any huge garlic, it'll be an awesome surprise. Come on along. So here's our garlic patch. I know these ones at the end here are probably gonna be scrawny, but it's okay. That's okay. I've got some in here in the middle that look like they might be pretty great. I'm gonna use a spade and I'm gonna start out by kind of figuring out where the garlic is. Just follow this down a little bit. Oh my goodness, so many worms. And then just extract it. There we go. The 2023 garlic harvest is in the books. So, so this happened. Um, I'm gonna go through this and see what we've got here. This, this is one of the biggest ones, which maybe I would pick up at the grocery store, you know, um, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, here's the deal. I have something like, how many are you? Hang, hang on. 60 something heads of garlic that I didn't have before. And me at the cusp of pickling season. They're little, um, and they were done at this size. And I'll, I'll show you this. This one I came in about a week late on. It's already started to divide like it does. So this one got pulled a moment too late. Uh, everything else is right before this. For example, at this point, we're just not getting any bigger. The next thing we want to do is hang these up. I'm going to cure them for storage just in case I don't use them up. I've showed you these before. These are... Um, let me back up enough it can be in the frame. This is a thing that Bill built for me. It's so cool to have somebody who can make your ideas a reality. So it started off with a wooden hanger and then it's just basically got a frame attached to it and some wire that came on a roll. These are our curing racks. Just look at these grapes ripening in the sun. Have you ever? I have literally never. This is so exciting to me that we're, we've got grapes growing. I've got my Dyer's polypore over here in a filtered sunlight so that it will dry down as well. I do this with onions too, and it's easier with onions because by the time they're ready to be harvested, they've already told you by flopping right over. Hard neck garlic does not do that. Um, and so you have to kind of, we'll trim it at the end to there. So I wouldn't put the, the crook any closer than that. That one's actually large enough that I didn't have to weave it. Let's see, here's a little tiny one. Fit it around like that. This space here, it's kind of put it under pressure and it'll stay clear of that. I'm really just picking the biggest, firmest one and winding it around like a Windsor knot, kind of. half Windsor, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, this should keep stuff secure or not. So this is what we got. I surely could have gotten all of this garlic onto the one drying rack, but I'm short. The garlic will hang up out here um, probably until it starts raining tomorrow. <laughs> and then I may have to bring it in and hang it in the kitchen all day while it gets done raining. I'm gonna dry this as much as I can outside. This is covered. It shouldn't have too much trouble. It's in the natural humidity. It's in the sunshine, um, but not really direct sunshine. I trust it. I believe in it. 
This has worked great for me the last two years. We've grown garlic, so I'm gonna keep running with it. Hello, fellow time traveler. It's Wednesday and the garlic is in the kitchen now. So were this a less rainy year, I would have these guys on the porch for about three weeks until they cure. Yesterday it wasn't supposed to rain, but it rained, so these had been moved inside for the rain, and now they live here. As the next few days progress, they will hopefully make it down to the basement. We just got that dried out from flooding a few weeks ago, so I'm just now starting to feel pretty confident that it'll be okay. Um, but it'll cure down there in the relative darkness and should do well. I still have some from last year. This stuff so that's us. We are just enjoying the tangle that August Garden is. Thank you so much for hanging out today while I harvested my garlic. I will catch you up soon. Take care. Thank you.